which brings me to my next quick topic, man. I want to, I do want to touch on all the jugs of 2020, man. Uh, <laughs> first, first, no, first, let's just start off with the first stimulus, the first stimulus. Yeah. You know, you get, mind you, taxes was just, you know, right, you know. Taxes was still hitting. Yeah, taxes was still hitting. So people are like, okay, then all of a sudden you got this little 1,200 plus the kids get a little. What was your thoughts as far as, you know, the way you've seen that come around as far as, you know, you, listen, you in V-Live, bro, so. I mean, I've never, like, did you, did you I'm see, did it. you see some, yeah, go ahead and go through it, bro. <laughs> I never, you know, v Law was crazy when it first opened up, but I never seen people fuck off money. <laughs> in that scale from May <laughs> to motherfucking, like, September. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dog. Nigga. I'm talking about it was $150,000 nights in V-Live. Bro. And this, this no artists. Sunday, day party, they throwing 30 and 40. Th man, I'm talking about, man, I seen all my, shout out to all my strippers. 150, 150,000 sounds like the amount of the PP loans this nigga was. Man, I'm talking about. They create a business and hurry up and grab that. And that whole balling. Nigga. I'm talking about. And you know what? I love the fact that. It had all the dancers selling clothes, nah, selling facts. lashes, facts. doing her, doing nails. It made women, I'm talking about Facebook had nothing but female entrepreneurs hustling. It made me look at niggas like, niggas say, y'all niggas ain't got no game about y'all self. Y'all got no effort about y'all self because oh, it gave, it made barbers rich. Nigga, <laughs> nigga. Hundred dollars to pull up, nigga. Pulling, nigga. I'm pulling up Sunday, Monday. Nigga, what you my doing? barber was pulling. My barber pulled up on me right now. No facts. I said I ain't getting no haircut unless I'm. I, I ain't getting no interview. Nothing. I gotta have a straight line. I ain't playing. That nigga pull like, up. Nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, what? I'm gonna pull up. And I got four kids. I got four boys. Nigga, that's me plus four. Yeah. I'm talking. It was so bad. My daddy was like, "Fucking give me a line." <laughs> For real. No cap. I'm here. God damn it. Nah, so that's real. So it's like that's it real. made people hustle for, and I love that shit because the catch is when you ain't no hating. But see, some niggas just naturally got that hater rate in their system, and you can't piss it out. Some niggas was just haters. But if you ain't no hater, you just seen every nigga hustling, bro. I'm talking about hustling, and I love the females hustling, and they bald. So when you seen. You know, OnlyFans was very big in 2020. B. That was the jug jug. Well, if I was single, I was I would be <laughs> slanging dick. <laughs> what? <Nigga. laughs> Hit what? that OnlyFans, goddammit! Oh, oh, I would do, be slanging dick. Do you blame them? Because I know probably a lot of uh, a lot of girls that you know at the club. Was, Why would you know, I not, man? I, look, it's a whole. Hey, listen. If, if niggas is paying, <laughs> hey man, you know, I, you know what I'm saying. I, I, it's two type of women in this yeah. game, man. You got the women that's gonna fuck for a buck, and you got the women that's gonna fuck for some clout. Mm. I ain't never seen no clout get that one hundred, two, three hundred dollar light bill paid now. Not for real. And what's so crazy? The industry and social media has made it. Oh, she, well, she got it. She got it. <laughs> and you know she what's so it. crazy? Nine times out of ten, they mama or they granny used to be a hoe too. Nah, nigga. If only, Just being honest. If only fans was. Back in the 70s, 60s, I promise you. Come on, man. <laughs> they feet me on that camera too, Come God on, damn it. I'm finna fuck you up, bro, with my grandma pants, bro. Well, you know, you sitting at the you sitting in the living room and, and I'm like, damn, because my grandma is the reason why I, I prefer a, a darker toned skinned woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It ain't it don't I mean I love it's beautiful light skinned girls, Carmel, everybody's beautiful in their own entity. However, I always grew up, my grandma had a a, a little uh Painting like a little, uh, like like a mural of herself, and I was like, man, my granny beautiful. I used to always think that, and I was like, man, I want somebody to look like that, it's dark skin. So, when as she passed, you know, they pulling out all the old books, all the old pictures, and I'm looking at my grandma like, man, my grandma was clean and a motherfucker got the look, the, you know what I'm saying? The the uh, the, uh, the gloves, the yeah. hat with the, the the little net hanging down. In yeah. the mix, and they like, yo, Granny's with a bird in her head. I'm like, Granny, a bird? What's yeah. going on? Yeah, Granny used to be turned up. Yeah, all the women, all the men wanted. Granny. I'm like, man, shut up. I'm yeah. like, man, but you know, everybody got to go through that phase. It's about the uh, the, the evolution and and, and and growing up. Nah, that's and facts. Everybody grow up at different times, but the kids, they let social media, you know what I'm saying, de-escalate 
I'd rather want a woman that went through a whole phase and got it out of her system than a woman that has never experienced it because I'd take it one nigga to turn you out. Because I'll waste some nigga with some more paper, dig a little bit bigger, or a nigga that's goddamn me flawed in you. That's so okay. if you can't turn my bitch out on me, I'm cool. <laughs> nigga, you know what? And if you do like me, say nigga, I salute you. These are facts. You just, you just let you just you just save myself. Nah, for real. Come on, man. So it, nah. it, it's life, dog. <laughs>